from iStampin.com and I am so excited to be able to show you some cards that I have been making using the um, items from the new uh, celebration catalog. Uh, the catalog debuts today and so um, for every $50 that you spend um, on items from the occasions catalog uh, this is the occasions catalog that um, is active or live today I should say um, or out of our annual catalog you're able to pick um, an item in the celebration catalog so there are a ton of fun uh, stamps um, embellishments um, you know, ribbons, buttons, everything that you can think of, um, some project life uh, things, uh, some fun kits. So anything that you can think of is, is in here. So if you have not received uh, a celebration catalog from me yet and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please get in touch with me. You can um, comment um, on this video. Uh, you can go on over to my website, which is www.istampin.com and um, reach me there okay so but what I wanted to do is show you this super simple card that I uh, excuse me that I created using the um, best day ever uh, stamp set um, it's just such a fun uh, fun and unique stamp set so here I wanted to show you this this is just one layer so um, what I did is I just stamped it and then um, used uh, the colors that coordinate with the um, designer series paper and I created a liner. I'm using the note card in envelope um, so this is a smaller size and so then I used the envelope liner framelits to create the liner um, to coordinate with the card. So I'm going to show you how I made this and let's get started, okay? Here's our note card and envelope and then I'm going to show you the colors that I chose um, to use with the stamps. Um, okay, so for the flower, the little heart, the little heart flower here at the bottom, um, I just got colors from the designer series paper. So I'm using Coastal Cabana. Calypso Coral and Crushed Curry and then for the greeting where I stamped the best day ever and then the stems um, I'm using Soft Suede. Alright, so I'm going to put this off to the side and just to prepare this, these are photopolymer stamps. So I'm going to get out my trusty stamp and pierce mat. That's what I like to use um, to, to stamp with um, the photopolymer stamps. Okay, so I'm going to just ink up the greeting first. And as I've said in my other videos, if you are using these stamps for the very first time, stamp off on a piece of scratch paper just to, um, you know, just stamp off a few times just to get that coating off. There is a coating on the photopolymer um, stamps. So uh, if you just stamp off a few times like so, um, whatever coatings on there should should take care of it and then you should get a really good impression. And then like I said, using the stamping piercing mat is also important. Okay, so I'm just going to center this onto the note card like so. And we're done with that. This is such a quick and easy card. Um, this would be such a cute card to give for uh, Valentine's gifts. You can wrap up, make, you know, 10 cards of these and then wrap them up and give them uh, to a friend, to a teacher, anything like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm taking the stem and I'm going to stamp um, five stems down here. I'm going to do them in, in uh, varying lengths. So I'm just using a piece of scratch paper here to help me. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and the last one, five. Okay, and you want to um, make sure you don't stamp them too close together. Uh, I figured this out when I made my sample card. Um, here I know I did some in the front. As you can see, I did them a little close. Um, I mean, if you can, you can do this, but when you stamp the little heart, it does overlap. So you can kind of see there. I mean, I don't mind it, but um, 
just be aware of that if for some reason if you don't like that so that you don't have to redo your card okay so now let's get the little heart and I'm going to start with crushed curry close this up real quick and then now all I'm going to do is just ink up the heart and then stamp that above the stems to make it look like little heart flowers. This is such an easy and quick card, like I said. Comes together so quick, and especially it being one layer, which I don't know about you, I love one layer cards. They're easy to mail, not extra postage. I mean, I like doing the fun embellishments, but sometimes it's fun just to make a, a quick and easy card. Okay, and then the last color is Coastal Cabana. Like so. Okay. And then, like I said, what you can do is, um, if you like to do some little embellishments, you can stamp on the inside here, just in the right corner like I did here. So um, I'm not gonna do that on camera. But next I'm gonna show you how I did the envelope. So here I've got my big shot. And then I've got my magnetic platform, the cutting plate. And then what I did is I cut, this is the um, designer series paper, and I cut one of the sheets down to six by six. All the papers come um, 12 by 12, so you get uh, six sheets, two designs. I'll go through these real quick to show you. So this is one of them. This is a fun bokeh design, and then a nice watercolored stripe, and then crushed curry and white uh, graphic design, and then um, same uh, little ombre chevron there, and then this is the other side. So similar design just with different colors, a cute circle graphic design. multicolored graphic, some triangles, this kind of reminds me of a quilt pattern, it's like the circles and then it also makes like flowers, you can kind of see that, and then this is the back side of that, that first piece that I showed you, just um, looks like uh, paint splatters. All right, so that um, is also uh, a freebie. So the stamp set that I'm using is a free. If for every $50 that you spend, you can get that for free. And that um, designer series paper as well. So it's some great deals. Okay, so I need to make sure I'm doing this correctly because I did not do this correctly. I'm envelope. I have the paper going the wrong, the pattern going the wrong way. Okay, so what I did is I just cut this down six by six. And that makes it a lot easier to manage, especially with um, these envelope framelits. So I'm using the envelope framelits. They come in three different sizes. This is the medium size that's going to fit in the note card um, envelope. All right, so I'm just gonna put my top plate on here and then just run it through. And then there we have it. And I love lining envelopes. This is a great way to use um, your designer series paper. Um, you know, sometimes there's patterns that you really aren't sure what to do with, or to be quite honest, you're not crazy about them. Um, using your designer series paper to line envelopes is a perfect way to use up that paper. And it's such a fun little added detail. So what you do is you just slide it into the envelope 
and then um, you'll see here that it has these two little notches and you just line that up with the score mark of the envelope. So you just line it up, make sure, and it's pretty easy to make sure that it's that it's even on both sides and then um, that it's not covering up the, the little gum adhesive. And then what I do is I just kind of bend this over and then I just run my snail just on that and then I rub the back flap down. Super easy. There's, there's no reason to attach the lining all the way down into the paper, or down into the envelope. And then I take my bone folder and I just fold the envelope and then I just take the edge and then I just give it a good score. And there you have it. So I've got the pattern going correctly this way. Here on my first sample, I have it sideways. So you wanna make sure that when you're using your framelit um, that your paper is um, uh, laid correctly. So the, the correct way you want your pattern to, to face. So there it is, ladies, how easy. And you can even stamp the front of the envelope. You could do the same pattern that I did on the inside here. You could do the same thing on the front of this envelope and just make it so cute and sweet. So ladies, there you have it. This is a fun, free stamp set out of Celebration. It's the very first suite that you'll come to here in the, um, in the catalog. And so here you can see how there's um, three fantastic ways to get free products. You can either shop, like I said, for every $50 that you spend, you get free product. You can host a party and um, get free product and it doesn't have to be a party uh, in person it can be an online party um, you can join you can become a Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator for just $99 during celebration and um, you can use um, that money going towards uh, products and so here you can see that um, this is the other part of the the suite so there's the Best Year Ever Designer Series Paper, so this is what I showed you. And then you can also get the Best Year Ever Accessory Pack, which includes buttons and ribbons. And then has some fun samples. All right, ladies, well, if there's anything that I can help you with, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And I hope you have a great day. All right, Happy New Year. Thanks, ladies. Bye. Thank you.